Hello, lovely people. How are you guys doing? What's up? <laughs> hey, hi, mouse. Hey, cooking is so much fun, but you know what's even more fun? Miniature cooking. <laughs> Today we're comparing miniature cooking to normal cooking, and let's see which one is more fun. Let's see which one tastes better. We have work to do today, so let's just jump right into it. Wanna know what's inside this box? I almost dropped it. <laughs> Why am I like this? This is a miniature cooking set. How cool is that? Oh my precious. We have miniature baking trays, a bowl and a spoon to mix our ingredients. Do -do 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 -do. A rod. A rolling pin, pizza cutter, a knife. <laughs> Well, it's a fake knife, it doesn't really cut. I'm just kidding. Guys, we also have measuring spoons. Look how cute they are. <laughs> oh my god, where did that sound came from? <laughs> Anyways, we also have this thing over here, which I have no idea how it's called, but we have it, so that's nice. And we also have these silicone things that you can put on your fingers to protect your fingers from burning when you're taking out the tray out of the oven. <coughs> tray drop. They thought of everything. Today, my friends, today we're making pizza. You like that? Ooh. Did you see that? <laughs> This is exactly what happens when I unzip my skinny jeans after a long day. <laughs> Come on, don't give me hard time. Good. Oh my God, we have a sticky situation. For my miniature pizza, I'm gonna take my miniature baking tray. Guys, look how tiny it is. A normal tray, miniature tray. <laughs> I'm gonna very carefully cut some pizza dough. This is going to be the pizza dough for our miniature pizza. Ow. Is this enough? I need to use my fingers for this. This is how professionals do it. Flip it in the air. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh my god, I'm so good at this. How you feeling, pizza? How you feeling? You looking... Well, let's not talk about the way you look. Gently greasing the pan. Too much. Ah. Okay, now I'm gonna take my pizza. Put it in my baking tray. Boom, 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 baby. Yes, look at that. This is going to be the most perfect miniature pizza you've ever seen. I find that unlikely. I'm trying to stretch my pizza dough, but it, it always keeps shrinking for some reason. Oh my God. Oh my God, I can't, I can't do this. I almost had a heart attack was the lid from that metal box that I was showing you earlier. Please don't do that again. <laughs> Working out is really showing results. <laughs> I'm kidding, I don't work out. Well, imagine if I did. <laughs> oh, this is so adorable. I can't, I can't, I can't. This is the tiniest pizza I've ever made. I'm so proud of this. My pizza will literally be the size of the lid of that pizza sauce. How cool is that? The good thing about miniature cooking is that you don't really need to spend much money on it. It's pretty affordable. You don't really need much, except for the tools. The food is cheap. That's just a car. It sometimes screams like that. If your hobby is miniature cooking, the food is so affordable because you don't need large amounts of it. But the miniature cooking tools, they're so expensive. Why? I have this odd feeling that I might have used a little too much cheese. But then I think about it and I'm like, there is no such a thing as too much cheese. Anyways. <laughs> salami. I haven't had salami in months, you guys. Let me just... Mm. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm sorry, this is amazing. <laughs> so now the recipe calls for some pepperoni, I have some salami, I don't know if it's the same thing, but we're just gonna use whatever we have. Perfect, 
My pizza is smaller than a piece of salami, you guys. It's also stealing some of my cheese. How dare you, salami? How dare you? Anyways, apparently this salami is way too big for my pizza, so I will need to do some work. And I don't like working. Oh yes, look at that. This is perfect. I'm so genius. It's almost perfect. Almost perfect works perfectly for me. This is like a smoothie straw. I just cut it so that it's shorter and easier to use. I've had those for years in my house, but I'm not really using them for anything. So I thought today is the day I do something with them. Look, it's coming out like real tiny salami. Oh my God. Thank you, mother, for the geniusness you gifted me with. And I'm gonna start putting my tiny pepperoni on my tiny pizza. Also add some oregano on top just for some extra flavor and now this bad boy over here is going straight in the oven let's hope i won't burn it i have a history of burning food <laughs> it's very crispy <laughs> it's a long list of foods that didn't make it but you're not one of them i hope I could see it rising up and I, I didn't I was afraid that it will spill out. It was sweating. I was sweating too. I was looking at it. It was looking at me too. I've never been so nervous about cooking something before. Alright! Pizza is in the oven. I mean miniature pizza is in the oven. Full-sized pizza is still in the process. We still have the dough. It already started having a crust. So I don't know if that's a good thing, but that's okay. That's fine. Pizza is good, even when it's bad. So while my miniature pizza is cooking, I'm gonna cook my full-sized pizza. At least now I'm a little more familiar with the proportions, or that's what I like to think. Greasing the pan, greasing the pan, making it look like my face. Find the difference. That's right, you can't. I never use this, but the recipe also calls for some cornstarch, corn flour. I don't remember how this is called. Corn flour. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> oh, the crust is brutal. Oh no, I think I left it outside for way too long. Do you think that this will ruin my pizza? I mean, as I already said, pizza is good even when it's bad. A little crust won't ruin my confidence. <laughs> Come on, stretch. Ah, my pizza dough is not really flexible. It doesn't want to stretch. Me and my pizza, we're on the same level when it comes to flexibility. Minus 500. That's where we stand. It doesn't want to stretch, you guys. It doesn't want to stretch. All right, I think that I'm done performing CPR on my pizza dough. I've got plenty of my DNA all over it, so that's good. Ah, hit my elbow. <laughs> all right, pizza dough crust looks great. <laughs> this sauce smells absolutely phenomenal, you guys. actually someone who draws with pizza sauce. Hey Siri, pizza sauce drawings. Sorry, I can't do that. Well, I'm not asking you to do that. I'm asking you to find me someone who does that. Pizza sauce paintings. I found this on the web. Oh, chef creates portraits on pizza using just cheese and tomato sauce. Told you there is someone. Good job, my friend. Oh my God, these are amazing. Listen to this. That's the sound of cheese rain. Rain on me, rain, rain. I'm just gonna put some salami on the half of the pizza, actually on the one third of it, because my boyfriend doesn't eat salami, he doesn't eat any meat. So, you know, I can't eat this whole thing myself. I mean, I can, but that's how I'm marking my territory. <gasps> the miniature pizza! <coughs> Guys, <laughs> I saved it. <laughs> This was this close to a disaster. I can't be trusted with anything. Some oregano all over the pizza, and then this is going right in the oven. Three, two, one. <laughs> Guys, look at this. <laughs> I did it. Yay. look so tiny my miniature pizza looks very miniature i love that this is a very proud moment of my life okay i think that it deserves a photo 
There will be some people being like, Danny, pizza is supposed to be a circle, not a rectangle. I know, I know, give me a break. I don't have a round baking tray. <laughs> it's pizza, even if it's in the most ridiculous shape, you're still happy when you're eating it. Don't try to lie to me, pizza makes you happy. I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, moment of truth, moment of truth. My miniature pizza is literally the size of the pepperoni. It shrinked a little with the baking, so now they're pretty much the same size. That's not pepperoni, that's salami. I still don't know if it's the same thing. I was expecting it to look a little better, you guys. It probably looks better in the thumbnail. Probably, most likely it does. It doesn't look as polished as the pizza you order online. My boyfriend didn't have any breakfast and it's like 3 p.m. right now, so he's waiting for me to bring him the pizza. So I think it's time for the taste test. 3 p.m. and he didn't have any breakfast? Like, what? <laughs> Who am I living with? I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I feel like this was the best pizza I've ever had and I, I don't know why. It's the sauce, you guys, the sauce makes all the difference. Time for my little masterpiece over here. Oh, as I said, it's not as polished as the, the one you order, but this looks like mom's homemade pizza. It's super, super adorable. Oops, come on little knife. Come on, you can do this. It's just pizza. Cut through it. Oh, I totally forgot. I have a pizza cutter. I think my pizza might be a little too thick for this pizza cutter. The pizza cutter is kind of getting lost in there. <laughs> Come on, pizza cutter. Cut. Oh, it actually cut it. Ta-da! Oh, wow. Oh, how this... Mm -hmm. This is the cutest piece of pizza I've ever seen. Oh my god! I want to squeeze it with my teeth! Alright, let's see. Hmm, well, I feel I'm gonna need one more piece to really decide how I feel about this. Mm. I forgot to take a photo of the miniature pizza for the thumbnail of this video. The miniature pizza was like a little teaser for the full-sized pizza. I felt like the sauce was not enough and also the crust was a little too much. The proportions were just a little off. It was a good pizza, but it was just too little, you know? <laughs> so now that I have my set of tools for miniature cooking, I can make so many videos like that where we can compare miniature food to full-sized food. We can actually do that. I was thinking maybe cinnamon rolls and pie. Oh, guys, cheesecake. We need to do that. Miniature cheesecake versus normal cheesecake, like normal sized cheesecake. There is no such thing as normal sized cheesecake. No matter how much cheesecake you give to me, it will always be not enough. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. You can check out some of my other videos right here. They will be somewhere next to me. So go ahead, click on one of them. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook. I also have a second channel. You can go and take a look. And thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Mwah.